Good morning, good morning, Uncommon People. Um, I just wanted to say hi. I remember we committed, we talked about doing more of these videos, so I wanted to make sure that I followed through with that. So uh, today I just want to give you something real quick, and really I kind of want to speak to you youth leaders, you parents, adults, and then also I want to speak to you, uh, the you young uncommon people <clears throat> uh, I want to first tell you like uh, like just like the caption says uh, watch what you say be careful about what you're saying um, you know a lot of times we get our perception of life and our ideas from what other people say and we build um, our faith or our thoughts on ourselves around what other people tell us or what they tell us about ourselves and so that that helps us to shape and build for form our identity. Uh, young people shape their identities from what other people say about them, especially what their leaders and parents and stuff say about them. And so we have to be really careful about what we say to them. And so as a parent, a teacher, a youth leader, um, whatever it is that you do, and you're involved with young people, impressionable people, we have a responsibility to speak courage, strength, faith, and just belief to all those who are around us, especially, like I said, the youth. Um, and so when I was younger, when I was in high school, I had a guidance counselor tell me that it was a waste of time for me to go to college. She, she flat out told me her words, college was a waste of time for me. Uh, that, and then completely dismissed me. When some of my friends, she was, you know, guiding them and helping them to get into college and to send them on certain directives and certain direction to, you know, propel their lives. But for me, she told me it was a waste of time. And then, like I said, just dismissed me. And so that stuck with me for a long time, a long time that stuck with me. And it really kind of hindered um, my thoughts. It made me think that I, I couldn't learn and I was unable to learn and I wasn't, I was un unable to be educated since then have gone to college and have done fantastic have done really well and so that goes to show that we have to you have to retrain your mind to to block out what people are saying about you what people say about you really doesn't necessarily matter but it's what you answer to and it's what you believe so now if you you know now 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 I want to direct that to you adults and even to the young people if that's you if if someone has spoken something like that to you and told you that you're not good enough or told you made you feel like you can't do something whether it be your dream your goal or whatever it is if someone has put limits on you I want to be the first one to tell you, if you've never heard it before, I want to be the first one to tell you, I believe in you and that you can do it. You can get it done. Anything that you want to do, you can do it. All things are possible to the people, the person, the man, the woman, the boy, the girl that believes. All you have to do is believe. It starts with your belief. It starts with your faith. Everything is possible. So I want you to know that. You know, don't shape your identity based off of what other people think about you. Shape your identity off of what you know about yourself, that you're wonderfully made, that you're awesome, that you're amazing, that you're smart, you're beautiful, you're brilliant, you're great. Not that uh, what people tell you. You know, people look at us and they say they put us in a certain category because of the way we look, the way we talk, where we came from. But that does not define you. You define you. If you have a dream to be a professional chef, go out and do that. You have a dream to become the president, go out and make it happen. The governor, the mayor, whatever it is that you want to do, a lawyer, if you want to go out and get in the, hit the NBA, hit the NFL, go out and make that thing happen. It's all up to you. Your identity is based on you. Now, last time I gave you uh, some things that I wanted you to do, and, and I hope you did it. If you didn't, Look at the last video and, and jump on there. Make that thing happen. Here's what I want you to do this week, though. I want you to write down some of your characteristics, your, the positives. We're going to stay away from the negatives. I want you to go to the positive things about you. I'm cute. I'm smart. I'm funny. I'm, I, I'm good at math. I'm good at reading. Whatever it is. And I'm talking to you adults, too. Because some of us adults, if we be honest with ourselves, we're living in the past still. Our mindset is still stuck in the past, and we're basing a lot of the decisions that we make today, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years later, on what somebody said 
way back then. And so now it's time to break that chain because our thought processes are being passed down to the, to the next generation. And then it's going to keep being passed down over and over and over. I want to make sure that we are abandoning those things. So, like I said, write down five things about yourself, five positives about yourself, characteristics, goals, dreams, whatever it is. And I want you to focus on those things for the rest of the week. Talk to yourself about it or write more about it. Expound on it. Talk to your friends about it, your family about it, your parents. Um, talk to somebody about it. And if if what I'm saying here on any of these videos, if this speaks to you, and you like what's being said or you want more of it or whatever the case is, comment on it. Let me know that this is helping you out. You know, I won't stop. It doesn't matter if anybody, it don't matter. Just so, but yeah, go ahead and, and comment on it. Let me know what, what's going on in your life. If you start to see change and transformation and what we're doing is working, let's keep it going. All right. I want to see you live a blessed and uncommon life. And oh, one more thing, by the way, if no one's told you recently, I love you. You are loved.